Meet the two-acre vertical farm run by AI and robots that can outproduce 720-acre flat farms. Plenty is a well-known innovator in the vertical farm space and the ag tech startup from San Francisco has been reinventing farms and farming since 2014. Their founder, Story, who has now taken up the role of Chief Science Officer, says the future of farms will have robots and AI to continually improve quality of growth for fruits, vegetables and herbs. Plenty does all these things and uses 95% less water and 99% less land because of it. While traditional flat farms become more efficient by using new tools to make farming better or easier, they're using drones and robots to improve crop maintenance while artificial intelligence is also on the rise with over 1,600 startups and total investments reaching tens of billions of dollars. However, flat farms still use a lot of water and land, while a plenty vertical farm can produce the same quantity of fruits and vegetables as a 720 acre flat farm, but only on two acres. Firstly, a quick thanks to all our supporters who make these videos possible. We have added a number of trend reports for all our Patreon members. If you're interested in learning more about food trends, you can check out our Patreon for more information. At Plenty's new facility, each step in the growing and harvesting process is now automated. In one corner of the massive warehouse, a bright yellow robot is used to pick up a tower filled with kale. The robot gently turns the tower on its side and sets it on a conveyor belt where a spinning wheel neatly trims the greens to harvest them. When the farm opens, this will be one of the last steps before produce is delivered to grocery stores or directly to consumers. The company already sells greens from its earlier, smaller farm through a local food delivery service called Good Eggs, along with some independent groceries. In another corner, robots pack trays with soil and seeds and deliver them to another room to germinate. Along another wall, four robots inside glass boxes carefully lift seedlings out of trays and plant them into the tall, white growing towers. Back in the growing room, infrared cameras and sensors monitor the indoor climate and software adjusts details like the precise recipe for light or water to create the best flavor in the plants. In technology used to grow the plants are also incredible. Plenty's climate-controlled indoor farm has rows of plants growing vertically hung from the ceiling. There are sun-mimicking LED lights shining on them, robots that move them around and artificial intelligence managing all the variables of water, temperature and light and continually learning and optimizing how to grow bigger, faster and better crops. These futuristic features ensure every plant grows perfectly year-round. The conditions are so good that the farm produces 400 times more food per acre than an outdoor flat farm. Another perk of vertical farming is locally produced food. The fruits and vegetables aren't grown 1,000 miles away or more from a city, instead at a warehouse nearby, meaning many transportation miles are eliminated, which is useful for reducing millions of tons of yearly CO2 emissions and prices for consumers. Imported fruits and vegetables are more expensive, so society's most impoverished are at an extreme nutritional disadvantage. Vertical farms could solve this problem. Plenty's farm grown non-GMO crops and don't use herbicides or pesticides. They recycle all water used, even capturing the evaporated water in the air. The flagship farm in San Francisco is using 100% renewable energy too. There's also intrinsic value for consumers in the fact that greens grown in food safety certified facilities can avoid the contamination that sometimes happens outdoors. In 2018, in three outbreaks, Remain lettuce grown on traditional farms caused 300 infections and hospitalized 128 people. Six died. Water contamination from nearby livestock was the culprit. Plenty uses purified tap water inside a space so pristine that it doesn't have to treat its greens for them to be safe to eat. Pre-washed greens from farms are often washed in bleach in an attempt to kill germs. Furthermore, all the packaging is 100% recyclable, made of recycled plastic and Plenty has already received $400 million in investment capital from SoftBank, former Google chairman Eric Schmidt and Amazon's Jeff Bezos. 
It's also struck a deal with Albertsons stores in California to supply 430 stores with fresh produce. If you're interested in learning more, check out our trend report on vertical farming and check out our video on how to become a vertical farmer in 2023.